Designs. Hey, we've got some great weather out there for you this weekend, Chris. And I got to say, I see you out there with the shades and the chain on. We see your fashion out there, Chris. But no, nonetheless, tonight down at the Players or in Jacksonville, beautiful uh, Friday night weather, except for folks up in far uh, southeast Georgia, especially Pearson, Ware counties up near the Waycross area. We do actually have a marginal risk for some severe storms here later on this evening. So after 7 p.m., some showers and storms are going to be making their way out of central Georgia into more of the southeast uh, portion of the state. Could see some gusty winds anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. Frequent lightning and locally heavy rainfall also going to be a possibility pretty much between about 7 and 11 p.m. tonight. After that, all the rain moves out, maybe just one or two lingering showers into early Saturday morning. So a little bit on the cloudier side when you first wake up tomorrow and also relatively mild temperatures going to start off in the mid 60s. But by the afternoon, the sun comes out and we heat right back up into the mid 80s for many of us. Now we'll be slightly cooler out at the beaches and along the coastline, low 80s calm um, waves out there. So really just another beautiful beach day for any uh, spring breakers and beach goers out there tomorrow and then Sunday. The final round of the Players Championship, really a similar story. Temperature wise, we're going to be in the upper 70s and low 80s by the afternoon. There will be the potential for a real quick uh, pop up shower between about 3 and 6 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon, but really the best chance for rain that's going to be coming then late Sunday night and into early Monday morning. So cold front's going to be stalled out right to our north here over about the next 48 hours. But by Sunday night, the next storm system slides on in again. That'll bring the majority of the rain overnight Sunday night, so it really shouldn't impact any of your plans. Few lingering showers into the first half of your Monday, but by Monday afternoon, the rain and the clouds clear on out and temperatures are also going to dip a little bit down into the mid 70s for your Monday afternoon. And then the first day of spring, ironically, it's going to be the chilliest day here over the next seven days. Mid 60s on Tuesday. We warm right back up, though, into the 70s then by the latter half of next week.